Welcome back to the shattered walls of somebody else's mind for a change. We're in the mansion of Alistair Grout. And... He might be crazier than me. Although, so far, he seems to be rather scholarly. Approaching all of this from a... Uh, an intellectual standpoint. But I'm hungry. And if my painter's outfit is any indication, I'm almost certainly high on fumes. Not the most scholarly sort, though I guess I'm far from the worst. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, more drugs. I have encountered a, Why does a vampire have morphine? new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to hmm. echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of the illicit dance. But the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of Indeed, these voices have come to me in their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Ooh! Lots and lots of blood. Vampire fridge. Elder Vitae? That's older vampire blood. How the hell, Alistair Grout, did you take- I mean, I guess it could be his. And he's apparently O negative. Or maybe O positive, who knows. Either way, though, I mean, that's like... I mean, to so borrow a term from Final Fantasy, that's basically an elixir. Oh, I'm getting you. And now you're scared. Hmm. Vision of death plus aspects. This is not fair. Hmm. There wasn't a, a view for that room that was behind that other lady, though. That door. Can it even be opened? Uh, I think she's in the way. So, we're gonna do the typical vampire thing and get her out of the way. Now let's see what that lock picking is. Difficulty five. I don't think Blood Buff would quite do it. Oh well. Ooh, that's dark. There we go. Well, little wonder what happened there. 
He's having a good old time by himself. Oh, I see a Whiskers. Dip. You saw nothing. Now, Whiskers was really nice to us in that previous dungeon. So, we're gonna leave Whiskers alone if we can help it. Besides, there's plenty of people just sitting around, waiting for them to donate. And this is basically a hospital. How could I deny them? I'm just ashamed. Sad, really, that I have no donor card to give them. Oh. Fell down, did you? Like I did. And now I'm stuck on her body. Just gotta keep the balance, mother. Oh. Oh, look, a spider. And then he died. More drugs. The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. The things you do to us. Poor Alistair Grout there. You made him go in, well, further insane. Ah, sparklies. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved one. The cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my sight. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all. All right, then. Let's see what's here. El Capo, El Capo, Pixie Queen, where all is. You saw nothing. Whoa. Oh, a paper. Famous doctor dies in accident. 
28th of February, 1925, the unrecognizable corpse of a renowned shrink, Dr. Alistair Growl, was found in his burning car as it crashed into Hollywood Hills today. Uh, I get the feeling that was faked. Is that the doctor from the hospital? It kind of looks like him. says uh let me see You're in for it. oh don't i know it uh die nights gone by right here I can't read that one. Black out the taste of user's blood. His terrible gaze, the sight of the pale moon in the sky. I am lost, trapped here by the Naster. Once his lost loyal servant, but now the victim of his drugs not the victim of his drugs the victim of his growing mistrust the fractured surface of his paranoia tearing at the screams beyond I can't read that one something has happened something unimaginable the beginnings of a harrowing madness that I surely will not Well, take that for what you will. I need to keep that one alive. I'm hungry. I don't think I've ever been to these rooms before. Is that sunlight? Let's not get in that. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's sunlight. How am I going to... This is gonna suck. Oh, come on, just touch the damn thing. Did that count? Son of a bitch. Is that? It looks like, uh, what's his name? Back at the blood bank. But 
they're human. Dip. Again, when it is just daylight, did you have it? Interesting conversation they must all be having. sex games were you into, Doctor? Two female mannequins at that. But... I don't know if these were here when I originally went to that room. Joy, and I'm trapped in here with the creepy mannequins. It's not very often the voice is oh shit, now they're looking the other way. There's only one door we tri haven't tried yet. I'm glad you think it's funny. Okay, well, I'm a little creeped out. Not exactly by the blood, that's pretty normal. This is LA, and it seems to be drenched with it. Fucking horror house of wonders. 
well. <clears throat> I want to hold on to the shoddy a little tighter. And we'll be seeing you next time. Farewell, vampire.